The Career of Nightmares by Thomas Ligotti Read by Jeff Clark No one knows how entrance is made. No one recalls by what route such scenes are arrived at. There might be a soft tunnel of blackness, possibly one without arching walls or solid flooring, a vague streamlined enclosure down which one floats toward a shadowy terminus. Then suddenly, unexpectedly, a light flares up and spreads, props appear all around, the scenario is laid out and learned in an instant, while that ingress of blackness, that dull old tunnel, is forgotten. On the other hand, perhaps there is no front door to the dream, no first act to the drama. A gallery of mannequins abruptly wakes and they all take up their roles in mid-speech, without a beginning to go back to. But the significant thing is not to begin but to continue, not to arrive but to stay. This is the founding condition, the one on which all others are grounded and raised. Restriction. Incarceration is the law of the structure. And this structure, an actual edifice now, is a strange one. Complete in itself, it is not known to be part of a larger landscape, as if perfectly painted mountains had been left without a lake or sky on a wide white canvas. Is it a hospital? Museum? Drab labyrinth of offices? Or just some nameless institution? Whatever it may be like outside the building, inside, for those who have important business there, it feels very late, as if time has run out and a crucial appointment has been missed. In which room was it supposed to take place? Is this even the right section of the building, the correct floor? All the hallways look the same without proper lighting or helpful passers-by, and none of the rooms is numbered. But numbers are of no assistance. Going from empty room to empty room is futile. That vital meeting has already been missed, and nothing in the world can make up for this loss. Finally, a kind of climax is reached in the shadows beneath the stairway, where one has taken refuge from the consequences of failure. And within this apparent haven there is an entirely new development. Multitudes of huge spiders hang in drooping webs above and around you. Your presence has disturbed them and they begin to move, their unusual bodies maneuvering about. But however horrible they may be, you know that you need them. For they are the ones who show you the way out. It is their touch which guides you and reminds you how to take leave of this torture. Everyone recalls this final flight from the nightmare. Everyone knows how to scream.